Look out, footy's back. Welcome to AFLW Today, your one-stop shop for all things AFLW, as well as a lot of yelling about a lot of issues. I am your host, Alex Donnelly. Joined, as always, Sands, not Sands, in a different jacket. I don't think I've seen this one. Mate, it's I've Brian worn Dawson. this on about I've, I've seen eight this episodes one. this year. You have a lot about of black eight. jackets. I'm going to throw I it I would there. say this is like a deep navy. You're kidding. That is black. Do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. I must be colorblind. Oh, yeah. we're, we're, oh, you think it's black? I don't know. I don't see cotton. Do you reckon it's know. black? <laughs> I've always had a weird thing with blues. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But I'm yeah. like, that's purple. And people are like, that is not purple. I think you need to put yeah, the Carlton. On. Yeah. yeah what, what color does Carlton wear? Blue. Navy blue. Yeah, 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 we got yeah. that. Yeah, that. <laughs> but I feel like this is like a navy blue blue yeah. thing. Uh, if you're watching, please hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you what think. What color is my jacket? It's one of those weird things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it God, blue? It's that, it's that or is it orange? Dress. Oh, orange. Yeah. There we go. This is like a classic trucker. Yeah. Yeah. I like Where's it. your cap? I can't wear a cap. <laughs> yeah. I don't look good in caps. <laughs> oh, don't you? <laughs> no. It's uh, devastating. Yeah. I, when I had long hair, I used to look great in a cap, wear a cap all the time. And now I look ill. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So if we see you in a hat, something like you're really hung over. No, no, no. As in, I just look ill. Okay. I don't drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You the booze. Yeah. yeah. It just looks weird. Yeah. Mm. You are weird, though. I am. That's why we bit. love you. And over yeah. there is a little weird fella. It's the stats guy. <laughs> How have we gone from like, I'll talk it up, Brian, and then we've just gone over here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, go. I'm, I'm very excited for the show, but not to be talking to you. Yeah. Come on, mate. <laughs> We're talking footy. <laughs> nah, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Uh, before we get rolling, uh, we actually do talk footy on this show. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel, AFL Today. Uh, click the notifications bell so anytime we drop a video, you get notified what's going on there. Of course, our social media channels across Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. Me yelling has gone slightly viral this week, but I'm yelling for a good cause. So I'm all about it. I want the game to get bigger and better. Please follow all of those platforms. Get around it. Get in the comments. You know, maybe you don't like me. Maybe you like Stats Guy's collared shirt over there. He's wearing a Lacoste shirt today. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's French. Yeah. No, it's Lacoste, but yeah. Yeah, but they, they, they sometimes say that. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I can't game. wait till the subtitles come up on that one and see what they... <laughs> it's yeah. C-O-Q. 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 See what they come up with yeah. there. <laughs> anyway. Look. <laughs> Can you smell it? Because footy is back. Yes. Hey, it's uh, it's Indigenous round this week, so that's pretty cool. Yes, how exciting. Very Game exciting. up in Darwin. Game, game up in Darwin. In awesome Ooh. kits. We were looking through all the we kits before. We have great kits. We mm. have probably the game of the round up in Cairns, which I'm disappointed about. So I was like, I'm going to go to this. And then I saw it was in Cairns. I'm like, I can't get to I can't go to that one. Can't go to Cairns. Yeah. Well, you could, yeah. but yeah. It's going to cost a lot of money. I'm actually meant to be on the Gold Coast next week. Ooh, yeah. the sun's playing next week. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. I'm there midweek. Can we bring back midweek footy? <laughs> yeah. Stop. No, we don't want that. Stop. That's like, you know, that's like going back to like, COVID times where someone's like, yeah. oh, oh, can thought, we do like yeah. an online meeting? And I'm like, oh, oh. no. <laughs> it's, like, it's like going not. back to the X and it's just like, dude, why? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't. No. no. Move uh, forward. Yes. <laughs> I only want Monday night footy. That's what I want. Um, in worse news, Laura Kane said the quiet part out loud yesterday. Uh, obviously, Kate Dempsey got horrendously trolled from Richmond when uh, sharing a story about her coming out and being married with a kid and yep. oh like a wonderful story a wonderful heartfelt was. inspiring was. queer story mm-hmm. well done thank yeah. you for sharing that and of course cuz you know people suck uh she got horrendously trolled and homophobic comments everywhere because Social media admin just didn't look at the post for a couple of days. It's like, mm. oh, I might miss my KPIs on this one. Yeah. And you'd think in this case, you know, someone from the AFL, from AFL House, who's there at the moment, because considering there's a competition going on, we go, what's up, Kate? Um, you good? Like, anything we can do? You want to get a coffee, something? Laura Kane's like, not my job. It's not my job to see how my players are doing. What I, did her post actually say? W- yeah, we need to probably, that's what I'm trying to look up now. I want to see exactly. Lit- literally said, I had I had the photo here. It's not, like it's not the AFL's job to yeah. personally manage the, like. Uh, the AFL says it's, it's not its job to personally manage the welfare of AFLW players after the league was criticised for its response to the Kate Dempsey trolling attack. I mean, that's gonna it be ins- kind of is because you employ these people. hundred percent, that'd be in a like the, that exact wording would be in a contract somewhere. Like, Literally, about that welfare. exact. So, uh, there is player welfare, exactly. Yeah. But also the AFL Players Association. That's why you have that as well because they look after player welfare. As like it is, it it everyone involved in that from player management to clubs, the AFL Players Association, and the AFL. Mm. It is absolutely all of their responsibilities absolutely. to do that. You mm-hmm. want to have a pride round and slap a 
Oh, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Keep going. <laughs> you want to have a pride round and slap a pride sticker on it and do your Guernseys and everything like that and then you encourage people to share their stories and you want them to put all of that out in the open in the public and then you don't want to stand right behind them when they cop all the online I really want to abuse. swear, yeah, no, and it's abuse. hard to not. No, you, you the, uh, that online abuse, mm, mm. no way. That just that's that's really hard to say how I feel without swearing. You've done very well. You. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Our job is to administer the competition and make sure we support our players in delivering that. I would happily speak to Kate anytime. So Laura hasn't spoken to Kate, obviously. Well, Kate doesn't want to speak to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Laura. Yeah. It's um. <laughs> It's a very weird situation. The fact that Richmond had to alert the AFL and be like, um, want to take this down or block the comments? And they're like, oh, yeah, we should probably kind of look at doing that. So just another own goal from the AFL. The optics out of AFL house right now, they're awesome. Had a chance to say, hey, no more midweek footy. Like, uh, take it under advisement. You know, we, we might do it next year. We'll see. It's just a lot oh, of weird stuff a person stuff getting abused. Nah, it's cool. It's not our job. Like, literally just. There yeah. are a type of people in this world who take initiative and be like, okay, cool, all right. Well, just now, nah, that's why you can do that. Answer the question a little bit better. Just say yeah, we're, we're, answer gonna, the question like, we're gonna, a little bit we're going to reach out. Just be honest rather than, I don't know, they've gone a bit too far there. Also, who knew PR team read that and went, yeah, that's yeah, good exactly. to go, guys. Exactly. Yeah, awesome. Mm. Ugh, so annoying. And such ends our weekly, daily, hourly, minutely. Rant. Rant about how yeah. bad AFL House is doing running this competition right now. I'll do it for 20 bucks. I only need <laughs> I need 20 minutes in a meeting with the board and I'll fix this competition. 20 minutes. Just go back to the five-step plan. I need 20 minutes and I need to hire you as my security guard. Right. <laughs> Approach everything with the confidence of a mediocre, middle-aged Whoa. white man. Did you call me mediocre? <laughs> I used to go, uh, Brownie, I definitely could have said worse than that. <laughs> yeah, but the mediocre part of it, right? No, 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 I apologize. You're not mediocre. <laughs> I'm You're definitely like, a little bit above that. I'm and like, that is important. Like a B minus. <laughs> we're doing like tier rankings, like uh, power rankings, like we do every week. I reckon we're just above that. I'm a B minus. That's all I am. <laughs> just, give, just give me that. Let's get into I'll fix the AML in 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it, I, but my you think ideas are done. You, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I'm not going to reach out to a player who gets abused. Yeah. I'd probably pick up the phone on Monday morning and be like, uh, Richmond, can I talk to them? Do Mm. you want me to talk to them? Yeah. You don't want me to? Okay, cool. I I rang and asked. Yeah. (laughs) Just easy. Just pick up the goddamn You said it's a media release you probably didn't even write. No, no, no. This wasn't a media release. This was in an interview up. up, Oh, this was in an interview. This was up north yesterday promoting uh, Dreamtime. Oh, great. Cool. Yeah. So let's talk about the footy because let's get to Thursday night, which is tonight. It is the game of the round. It's at Kazali Stadium as Hawthorne take on Nam, which is obviously the Melbourne Demons. Wow, the D's won this last game by 10 goals. This This is... would be a lot different to that one. It would be slightly different, Liam. I don't know where that was going. Uh, (laughs) This, yeah, this will be slightly different. This game, it'll be interesting to see how both teams acclimatise to the weather up in Cairns, obviously up in North Queensland. Bit hot, bit tropical, bit humidity. There's going to be a lot of frizziness. As someone who played two games of football up in Cairns once upon a time, um... You get tired really quickly. So, it's like playing in altitude. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it just it just and... comes out of mm. you. We've already seen players cramping a lot during games and that kind of a stuff. Lot of this pickle year. Juice. So <laughs> much pickle juice. So the weather today. Bathe in the pickle. It's currently 26 <laughs> degrees in Cairns. We're recording this on Thursday morning. The humidity is 68%, but the humidity is meant to hit between uh, 70 and 80% during the day, maximum of 31 degrees. Uh Oh, we got, uh, is that Jane Bunn over there? Was, you've gone <laughs> the Bunsy, full. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm from Sydney, Tim <laughs> Bailey. Tim Bailey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, so the, that, that's not great. 70 to 80% humidity that's is brutal, ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know if there's any asthma sufferers out there when you put your humidifier yeah. on at <laughs> oh, night I'm, and that thing like you wake up in the morning and your windows yeah, are covered. Yes. That is literally what it is going to be like mm. up in Cairns uh, and you're going to play an intense game of footy. It's, yeah, it's they're going to be cooked. It's going so to be intense. That's the D's have won four straight and they pretty much need to win this to make sure they still give themselves a chance of playing finals. Imagine the confidence the D's have just rolling in towards finals if they can get a win. I don't think they can, which I'll touch on later, but if they can get a win here, that their confidence will be through yeah. the roof. Yeah. Through the roof. Mm. This is the ma- major test for the Hawks because everyone's saying, oh, they're flying, they're second and this and that. If they can beat the D's, everyone's like, oh, 
they're actually a lot better than I thought. Like, yeah. Like a month ago. So, yeah. I yeah, think. I think the Ds are finding some form and they're also mm. finding a little bit of confidence, mm. which I think is really good. We've got Eliza West and Casey Sheriff up against their old side yes. in Melbourne. So um, that'll always be be a fun one. Um, I think Hawks... Hawks have got this, um, you know, if they can stay true to to their form this year. They know how to play attacking and defensive footy. Uh, they're able to get the ball inside 50. Their key forwards, Anya McDonough and Aileen Gilroy, are, on fire, yeah. uh, they're absolutely on fire. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I've got a stat here, a total of 327 inside 50 so far this season, averaging 36 a game. Oh, that's, so that's so, the rule. You get over 35, you, yeah. you're more than likely win the game. I think it was 30. I think yeah. it was yeah. 30. Oh, so, 35 anyway, points. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing above averages there, and they're just they're so fast um, and physical with the footy. I just think, yeah, the D's have obviously got great um, defensive pressure, mm-hmm. um, and they're averaging sixty tackles per game Ooh, this season as well. Yeah, so um, you know, and that's an improvement on last year. Mm-hmm. Um, and we know how good they were last year. So the fact that they're beating that um, average is good. So. Just that they just need to put some goals on the board. They do. They yeah. do. That's yeah. my worry is that yeah. I don't think the D's can kick a big enough score. If Hawthorne get up and running, I don't think I don't think they can score enough. Yeah. They're gonna rely this is gonna have to be a big night for Bannon and a big night for Kate Hall. Yeah. Like yeah, this, well, this Bannon's is Bannon's been on fire, eight goals is, in their last this four is games. Six goals between them, I'm calling that. Yeah. For them to win this game. Yeah, I footy. agree with that. But Hawks are also so strong defensively. Oh, I yeah. don't know if they're gonna they're, give um, you know, Bannon and Zankat that room that true. they need. Yeah. Um yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one, but I think it'll be a, a case of both teams really trying to play their own game uh, and not get locked up in the the team tactics and, and, True, and that kind of stuff. True, because there's been a few times this season where we look back at the dogs a few weeks ago, or the yeah. Bombers last week, yeah. where they think too much about the opposition and go, oh, what play are we gonna do when we have the ball? If you play your own game, the dogs proved last yeah. week that we'll touch on. You can win games. So Back yourself. That's a good call, mm. uh, Brian. Yeah. The other one was Mac Eadley returns from uh, that. Pretty scary concussion, concussion yeah. when it was yeah uh, hurt her neck and things like that. So that's good that she's back. I wrote down Bates, Lucas Rod, and West for the Hawks are all averaging over twenty disposals and five clearances. So mm. they've just got so many contributors. And I didn't even mention Fleming, and they've got uh, who else is uh, Breed has run through oh, there. Like yeah. their midfield is just stars and like yeah. people that are hitting. Baskerin yes. as well. Baskerin oh, has been really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting awesome. for the stats guy to spend a five minute soliloquy on uh, Gilroy. Gilroy, I've I've talked about Gilroy literally every review. She's series. so good. So, so good. how are you not talking about I know. her? Stats guy's favorite player. Absolutely, yeah. non North Division. Yeah, non North Division. <laughs> well, used to play for <laughs> North. Used to yeah. play for North off half back, which is a big change. In the yeah, house. she's probably the best goal kicker. So in the comp. whoever Crazy. wins this, are they going to back themselves to win the flag? Like the self confidence, oh. the self confidence in the building. Like outwardly, everyone, like, yeah, it's all right, but within. I think they'll back it, but because the D's are just like can. we've just beaten Richmond, we've beaten Adelaide, we've beaten we've beaten the Hawks. Like they're just gone. Bang, are they bang, near bang. the level of Brisbane and North? Though? Well, we remember when Brisbane belted them back in round two. Mm. But yeah, they've they've changed a lot since then. The D's, though. I say no. I say no, but they might believe that they can make a deep run. Like the Hawks, I think if they win this, have a better chance of. Yeah, making the grand final, well, winning the grand final. Second stats guy, obviously. But I'm just mm. saying, no they matter where this, they were they, on the ladder, they win this. They lock up top four. They lock up a top four yeah. spot. Like they can lose in the last round if they win tonight. Hawks would be a lot more confident, but these have a bit of experience on their side. I don't know. What do you I reckon, Brian? Uh, <laughs> Probably not for the flag. Not so, for the flag. No. D's not for the flag. No. no, sure. They're they're gonna they're fighting for top eight. Yeah, they're yeah. you know I think they're like giving. Game by game. <sighs> game by game. Quarter yeah. by quarter. I, mean, I said they were yeah. going yeah. to they miss the eight, so therefore that leads to my tip that Hawthorne will win this by three goals. Mm. I put Hawks by 26. Yeah. 26. Oh, I'll go Hawks by 10. I think it's going to be really close. Oh, a close mm. one. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. actually, I'm just going to go a goal. A goal. I reckon it's going to be really close. These, okay. These good defense. I will be watching this and I cannot wait. Friday night, Norwood Oval. Yes. Kiwana, the Adelaide Crows, a play North Melbourne. I said game of the round. This could also be game of the round. Yeah. This is the first Thursday-Friday combo we've had with really good games. Yeah. There's been a lot of average Thursday-Friday matchups. Yeah. These two are just awesome. So everyone will be tuning in. This is the one. Mm. This is game of the round for me. I wish this was at the Adelaide Oval. (sighs) Norwood will be pretty cool, though. Yeah. They'll pack that out. I reckon it'll be cool. Norwood's actually good. It's nice. We've been to Norwood. I've been to Norwood. (laughs) It's cool. the The snacks there. 
Not so great. Hot chips. Yeah. Oh, I. If you I can't get them. a hot chip right at the footy, guys, just pack it up. Can, I, so I can confirm, I saw people on the just as a as usual sidebar. Uh, I saw someone on the weekend complaining about how bad they were at Windy Hill over the weekend. Oh, so, so it's been ten weeks <laughs> and you haven't improved. Come on, mm. what are they doing down there? I, I, we need to talk to Essen and they need to get a new vendor. It's all about your seasoning. You just got to cook it right and get your seasoning <laughs> yeah, right. There was no seasoning. I know you can't not season. Yep. So in the, the <laughs> adult at the adult at Norwood during gather round, like they were just pumped because it was like eight thousand. I people had something yeah. that I was really good. I can't remember. But yeah, that, that ground's cool. You the sandwich. The sandwich. The steak right. sandwich. Is yeah, good. actually, steak sandwich. That's what it was. Yeah. That ground is so weird. The um wing, the wing the is just line. straight. Yeah, it's like the North it's, Hobart Oval it's so uh, weird. inside fifty, which is just like a diagonal line. But it's a cool, Great. cool ground to watch footy from. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Good times. Like good hang. Probably should talk about the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a great game because you've got. You know, Ebony Marinoff is going, I'm having the greatest season of all time. And Jasmine Garner's like, I hate you because people are recognizing you for how good you are. I am that good. Yeah, you got Riddell and Garner that are just going to be taking it all day up to uh, Marinoff. But yeah, it's going to be a fun match. Hatchard's going to be in there. Just oh, going. Hatchie's going to get in there as much as she possibly yeah, can. Yeah. Who do we reckon Hatchard lines up? Like, because she'll try and run through a contest to start the game. Surely she lines just, up. And yeah, just, just. <laughs> Just lines up the I footy. I don't know if she's that kind of player. No. Yeah, but it's not. I'm she's lining tough, up. But I'm like getting the footy. Tony Lockett, but it's, mate. But it's I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting the footy and I'm running through you. It's, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like a sniper, Matthew yeah, Lloyd. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think anyone that's – yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah. there's no <laughs> <laughs> sniper, Matthew Lloyd. That's uh, pulled some heartstrings. He was a sniper. <laughs> We can talk about that off here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, for me, Adelaide really want to jump on this one. They had a comprehensive win last week against yep. the Pies, but it was against the Pies. This and they is stuffed around for yeah, three they quarters. did. And this is them. They're going to have to really put it to the test uh, against you know and uh, prove if they're actually a top two side. Yes. If they're actually one of the actual best teams in mm-hmm. the competition, um, they definitely wouldn't have seen themselves at seven and two this no. season at this late st- stage in the season. So um, I don't think they'll be used to that. And this is this is the big um, test for them. I'm really looking forward to the Marinoff, oh, Ghana, Riddell. Yeah. Right, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, North tall forwards as well against yeah. uh, Adelaide are the number two defense. So North are yeah. the number one in pretty much everything. Yeah. But then you've got Adelaide's number two defense. <laughs> just see if they can stop those tall, like just tall everywhere. There's like, you could have five, like I think North had four talls down there at one point against the Bombers. The Bombers mm-hmm. just looking up going, oh, we can't get again against them in the contested marks. You've got Adelaide as well. We said they had that a bit of a slump that uh, Bryony called. The last two home games as well, they've only scored 14 points and 26 points. This is why I don't they want need... this game to be Nor- Norwood. Get it to Sturt. Yeah, mate. Yeah, but Sturt. That's, that's a, when they smack Hawthorne. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. But they'll have to score above, I'd, I'd say, 40 points we'll to be We'll have to have North game. Melbourne's biggest score kicked against them this season Yeah, for them to win. Yeah, mm. And this is the thing. This is the game where they may miss Libby uh, Emma Carney because Libby's the, down there on her own. But Adelaide do have the dangerous forward line yeah. where multiple players can kick goals. They're also getting goals from their midfield which that'll depend if North's... Um, Depends mid- whose midfield takes but over. But yeah. if North's midfielders can work in defensive transition as well, because the Crows, just if they get it and go, yeah. you've got Marinoff linking up with Hatchard, you've got Newman on the wing as well. Yeah, and they Gould use, has been yeah. great this season down and, forward as well. And, yes. and eyeing up Ponta as well. Yeah. This will be the big test because this isn't some teams who are just getting it and bombing it in. It's like, ah, intercept mark, you beauty. This is like... No, the ball's coming in flat and low, and the yeah. defenders need to be on. So, yeah, yeah. actually, on good, uh, she's got 13 goals, third in the league, yeah. and then also averaging the most score involvements in the comp at the moment with six. So, Ooh. just like a bit of everything from from a forward that usually you can go, oh, she can goals, but then she's setting up goals as well. So, yeah, we love that. Hmm. Um, I, I love how the Crows this season as well, they love those repeat inside 50s as you were talking about and they just wear mm. their their opponents down. So we know the, the Roos love to move the ball quickly as well and as such great outside running ball yeah. movement. So, um, again, I think this is going to be one of those games where they're going to focus on their own yes. game style. I think we're going to see a lot of goals kicked and we're going to see a lot of free-flowing hard footy. Yes. Are the Crows out of their slump and can they take it up to North is the big question. Stats guy, you're the resident North fan. I think they're out of their slump, but no one's taken it up to North. Maybe, possibly Brisbane like in the finals just because it's sort of in the back of their mind from the grand final. But Adelaide haven't been at their best this year. And you look all across the park, I think the depth for North, no, they got no chance, Adelaide. I'm going to say North are kind of going to 
Pump Adelaide. Oh, we're getting an early big call. Thirty six points. Oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> Stats man, how much? Uh, I'll go two goals. I think it'll be twelve points. It'll be really close all the way through. I'm doing it. Oh, stop it! You're just yeah, doing it because yeah. I go for North. Right? No, no. This actually, <laughs> I actually didn't think about that when I did the tip. I just went. I just first thought went Adelaide at home. Okay, okay. This, this is like if they lose this, they're a chance of missing out on top four. If they lose again next week, this is that flag in the ground going. No, no, no. We are that team because Ooh. we've said all along they have the talent. It's just whether or not they can do it. Similar to Richmond, but because they're in Adelaide, you sort of don't pay as much attention to it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. This, so is, you're where, going this is where Ab- Ebony Marinoff is like, yeah, I am. This her. is where she's already done that all season. No, no, no. But she's it, literally already done but it. But you're doing it against North and you're getting three votes having right. 40 touches. Because right. she's going to be able to have. No her chance. Her own run on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's going to be playing her own. They're not going. I don't reckon they'll tag her. I reckon. But no chance she's getting forty against North Midfield. They won't get enough of the ball for her to get forty. I in my opinion. I think she'll have a, a ripper game. Ripper. Okay. Okay. Adelaide by three points in a cracker. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Well, I'm bloody excited. Yeah, let's go. I'm so excited for this game. Apologies to my girlfriend who thought football season was completely done with me taking over the TV. The next two nights I will be. <laughs> Saturday, GWS hosted Henson Park, 2.05 p.m. They are playing While You're Up, which is a Fremantle Dockers. Nice. I do enjoy saying While You're Up. Yeah, that's, While You're Up, cool name, while yeah. up is good. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. The Dockers won the last meeting between these two teams by 32 points. They're coming off a big win in the Derby last week. And GWS, they tried. They had a testing week. and They got blown off the park in the second half by Hawthorne. This is at Henson Park. Hopefully, the Giants do bring some sort of a vibe there because, worryingly, yeah. While the Swans get record numbers, lowest crowds of the year have been GWS games at Henson Park. Okay. Because it's not in the west of Sydney. <laughs> it's in the inner west. That doesn't matter. They'll, people will turn up for this game. They've had a, some games from in some where, bad weather. From where their base is, nice. Stats Guy, it's so far away. Ah. There's no AFL ground near Parramatta. But Just go mm. and watch footy. Have some tins, as you would say, on the hill. Gotta have some tins yeah, on yeah, the hill. And, yeah. and a barn me. <laughs> oh, the fact they do a barn, barn me. Barn on the hill. That's the talk? most Sydney thing I've ever to heard. To be fair, I would you love would, a barn me in the footy. I love Newtown. Yeah. I'm sure I would. This is very I feel close like to I've Newtown. Been to Newtown it's before. around the corner from Newtown. Newtown is your vibe. Like cafes and Yeah, cafes, good food. If you were drinking, a lot of, lot of bars, like yeah. really, okay. really great hanging Newtown. I'm sure they do a lot of um the nicer zero percent beers yes, over there. They the would, craft yeah. beers. So okay. Newtown <laughs> it was like the first hipster place in okay. Sydney. There you go. Yeah. Great. Nice. Yeah, first, yeah, and first, like, open to everyone, like, have a great Mardi Gras party, too. Great. Very nice. Good hang. And uh, rent's only $2,500 per week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get your band to gig there. <laughs> yeah. Just you and the dudes. Oh, that's uh, so GWS are just not getting enough of the footy. Yeah. In general. They're, yeah. They're getting, well, at, at times, they're getting enough of the ball, but they're just not getting it inside 50. I think yeah. they're, they're sometimes doing little handballs or little kicks. Just get it a bit more direct. Mm-hmm. Their opponents have had double their inside 50s the last two games. When... Even if you're losing a game, you should be getting more inside 50s yeah. and that. Parker and Beeson have been great. Draco has lifted it sort of in the midfield. So mm-hmm. they're getting enough of the ball, but I think I've, they need to get it on the boot a bit more rather than little hands. Just get it longer, I think. Yeah. Which is a very old school thing to say, which at the footy, all the old guys going, oh, just kick it long. <laughs> I don't like when people say that, but GWS really just need to kick it long sometimes yeah. just to get it a bit, a bit yeah. deeper in their forward I think like... We saw how GWS can play at the start of last yeah. week against Hawthorne. Yeah. They were so good. Mm. They came out like hitting really hard. Um, good and defense. If they play like that, they've got a real chance against Frio. Yep. Um, it was great um, pressure, footy, uh, and they were able to like actually create opportunities for themselves moving down the field. So um, they just need to like find that spark within them because I feel like when they've got the spark, they can actually they can, right. they can actually put something yeah. on the scoreboard. Yeah, so, um, but in saying that, the Dockers are just they're really putting something special together. They're um, just the little team this that year. could. Yeah, they really are the little team that could. <laughs> I mean, I think that's that is think, an excellent way. You think it. about it. They've, they've copped injuries. They've obviously got they Nakiara have, about Bowers as well. Younger players as um, well. Yeah. Was the goal kicker that went down in like round three? Um, I've completely spaced on the name here. No, Irish. I know. Yeah, they've had a few. Yeah, yeah a few go down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're just like. So when you just keep winning, yeah. Whereas other teams have just capitulated when they've had injuries yeah, this year. 100%. I think you've talked up Mim Strom a lot this season. She's gonna, she's smoke averaging the most. Smoke O'Dowd this weekend. I don't know about Smoke O'Dowd. Are you actually gonna I think smoke O'Dowd? Like, Mim Strom is having smoke O'Dowd. <laughs> Mim Strom is having an amazing she's had, season. She's most probably gonna comp, be yeah. all Australian ruck, but it is. It's I, gonna be battle of the rucks. It'd be a fun. It'd be a fun matchup because yeah. yeah. O'Dowd will beat her around the ground, like in terms of pace and on the ground. But in the hitouts, like. 
she's averaging Mimstrom uh, 36 hit outs. She could yeah. get 50 hit outs because yeah. Odell's not known for a hit outs. But around the ground, it'll be a lot even. A very, a very Alex Hedout is like a, having another um, midfielder in the yes, ruck. She's yes. so good. Yeah. With unicorn. Be, it's going to be fun. Unicorn. unicorn. There you go. Yeah. A unicorn. There's a yeah. Gold Crest. That, did you, is that what you saw yesterday? Why you said unicorn? They're calling this Gold Crest Academy. Oh, uh, yeah, girl, yeah. Unicorn. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, averaging yeah. their most disposals and the most hit-outs in the yeah, cup. So yeah, so she's, yeah. That's, she's, a, that's a unicorn. She's yeah. genuinely going to go number one, but Gold Crest. <laughs> no. Academy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, ours. Yeah. Anyway, that could be the next, yeah, Odell. Yeah, I've heard Gold Coast have a phenomenal phenomenal crop of girls coming through and the yeah. swans have a good crew in the next two Ooh, years and yeah. i'm just like beautiful yeah great so you complain about academies but you know what you can suck it i had people complain about academies anyway uh can Freo <laughs> put up a big score here smack up their percentage and just go yeah gws sorry and just w- swipe them aside uh i was when i wrote that i was like oh Freo could and then you look back at it and as Bryony said, gws are actually pretty solid defensively I need more from for Gold the first Worthy. half yeah. i need more from Zali. so i think this will be Pretty close. But Freo have been concentrating on defense more than offense. So, yeah, I think they won't put up a big score, but they can still take some momentum. Will Freo have their one pathetic quarter like they always do? Most likely. Yes. Probably, Probably, yes. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Freo win this by six goals. Oh, Ooh, six goals. A six, a six six is a charity six there, Alex. <laughs> I think we got a charity six every, every <laughs> a tar- show. A charity what six. A, what an honor. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm saying Freo by 18. 18. Uh, yeah, I'll go the, I'm will go. i going to go the same. I'm going to say 20 points. Right, right, let's head up to People's First Stadium. Also, have have we noted the timing of these games? It's like it, on Saturday, 2.05, 4.05, 6.05, 8.15. Just bang, no bang, bang, bang. <laughs> No overlap. No overlap. Footy. And the daylight savings, they're all an hour later. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Footy. Yeah, footy. This is great. <laughs> uh, so Gold Coast take on Yartapulti, Port Adelaide, 4.05 p.m. Yartapulti many... is pretty good as that's well, a good, isn't that's it? Cool, and you're doing very well with the pronunciation. Well, no, oh, wait, well done. there's two later on that I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit iffy about. Yartapulti. Bet, that's I'd bet, great. That's in fairness, made sure I was practicing them this morning because I don't want to butcher them and apologies if I do. Are no, you doing a good job? I'm doing my best. Well done. Uh, Gold Coast off the back of a win last week. They'll be up and about, but Port Adelaide just going about business as they should, just like, yeah, we're, we're doing well here. And mm. I, I said it last week. I think that they're on the cusp of doing something in the next, either next season in 2025 or 2026. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, we're one of these top, top teams because they've got this great crop of kids coming through. Oh, yes. mixed, so good. Mixed with great experienced players yeah. in their midfield and forward line as well. Yeah. You got Goody and Schultz. They're probably the best young duo in the comp. Yeah. Oh, I know that's a big call, but in terms of what they're doing in their first year, they've been yeah. their two best players almost. Yeah. 100%. And that's crazy for you. And Tico before she got and Tico before yeah. injured. Yes, before she got injured. Um, yeah. And then Gemma Houghton, Houghton is just showing yeah, how it's always done, just yeah, like, pretty consistent. Every day. She's, she's having the front seat view to the mark of the week every year. Yeah, We've she, noticed she, in our video. Yeah, she just, yeah. just got, oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't have to take the mark of the year anymore. <laughs> she's Someone like, else great. Oh. How cool is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah she has. I really she love really. that. The Suns will be like... A bit more confident. They've got a win. They got really close against Brisbane. They've got their midfield back. I wrote down Whitford that you talked up last week. Yeah, Stepped Whitford, up the last yeah. five games. 18 yep. plus disposals and five plus tackles, I think, the last five games, yep. which is a big step up. I think before that, she was only getting your 12 to 15. But you need when she's up near that 20 plus disposal, that's yep. really, really handy for yep. someone outside of single and row bottom to do a bit of work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm still a bit Shania on Gold Coast. Yeah. Um, for all those playing at home, that means that don't impress me much. Yes. I knew that. I, yeah, got, I was just it. like, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was like, when you, yeah, when you said you know, I was just man, like, man, I feel like a woman. That's for sure. <laughs> 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 um, I'm loving Port at the moment. They're full of confidence and they're really starting to gel. I think there's yep. a really incredible team culture there at the moment. And Lucy seeing, Single's not playing, by the way. So she's not. Oh, that's she's a big out. Yeah. 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 So, um, Ash Saint has been solid as well. Um, yep. Their effectiveness um, going forward, I think, is what has been instrumental in their winning streak at the moment. They've really been able to make good use of the ball. Takes and, yes, marks. Goody, Schultz, Houghton, um, loving it. But, Derek. yeah, Gold, yep. Gold Coast without Lucy Single. Yeah, that's not good. Really, she, in fairness, she didn't have the best of games last week against yeah. this one. But before but that, still, great season. Yeah, has yeah. been having, going well all year. Uh, this <sighs> just looks like... Given we have question marks about Gold Coast defence, we saw that last week. The Swans could have put up a cricket score if they kick straight. Port Adelaide are a much better team than the Swans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Behind Hawthorne, are Port Adelaide like genuinely one of the more watchable teams in the competition? Uh, I, I think so, just because the highlights, like we do the mark and goal of the week every every week for some socials. So yep. check that out on AFL Today. Are you? 
Uh, and every time we do those, it's port in those. And yeah. they're like the big highlights. And they might not always win, but they they have a lot of heart. So I'm saying yes. But Hawks are a lot more exciting because I feel like their vibes are up. They've won a few more games. So, but yeah, I'd say, I'd say port are pretty watchable. I, I think, Port yes, I think Port are pretty watchable. And up against Hawthorne, that, I think they play such a different game. Yes, they yeah. get those highlights. but Might they're like scrappier. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're scrappy, yeah. hard slog team. They mm. will wear you down before they, you know, outkick you, outmark you, you know, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, Yeah, I, th I still think that they're really watchable. And I love yeah. them. Yeah. I've, 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 in previous seasons, have yet to be super interested in Port. Yeah, and they're back. And this season, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll watch that game yeah. for sure. Definitely. Yard to Pulte by seven goals. Wow. Good. Seven goals. Uh, okay. Uh, Actually, it probably uh, could be. I'm yeah. Think. I, I do think unless like Dupe gets on top and like can take some clunks yeah. early on during the game, uh, sort of around that half forward, because it's what we've seen with Gold Coast all year at People's First. They get the footy 70 metres out like, oh, what are we doing? Mm. Mm. All year it's True. happened. And then other teams just rebound like there's no tomorrow and like, see ya. Yeah. True. Um, I'm saying Yata Pulti by two goals, two. That was very specific. Mm. 14, 14 points. points for the, uh, the mathematicians. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll go 25 points for Yata Pulti. Nice. The power. All right, let's move on to the next game. Mineral Resources Park, 6.05 p.m. Walatij Marara. I think I said that wrong. Sorry. West Walad Coast. Walad Wal Walish Walatij Marara. Walatij Marara. I can't. Marawa. Yeah. I think you've done okay. Yeah. I think you've done all right. West Coast. Yeah. The important thing is, is that you try and that's important. Yes, yes. They take on the Geelong Cats. Uh, Daisy Pierce going up against technically her old team because she did work at Geelong for 12 months. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's Daisy. A, that's so, a stretch. Yeah, it is a stretch, but. Well, she was there. They, they're all. Uh, their old team is Melbourne. They're all, they're their all, old team is Melbourne. <laughs> no, well, she was an board assistant board coach at, at the men's. She was an assistant. Yeah, but she was still an assistant coach at Taxpayer Park. Yeah. Taxpayer Park. All right. Whatever, whatever you say. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, just abuse of the soft cap coming out the wazoo for both sides here, given how rich they are. Anyway, uh, Geelong won this meeting by nine points last year, and this is just the very simple of what Geelong is going to turn up. Well, it? that's the big question early on. We're just going to get straight to it. Which Geelong will turn up? That's the yeah. easiest question we have every day. Eh, Geelong, like, like, yeah, Geelong could win Geelong. this by 70, or they'll lose it by 12. Yeah. And there's no in-between. Yeah. It's such a hard, it's actually a hard game because yeah. West Coast at their best aren't too bad. The last two weeks they've been horrible, 12 points and eight points. Do you reckon they've run out of steam, yeah, West possibly, Coast? Yeah, yeah. That this, was That's that, what I had in my notes. I'm like, uh. It's annoying because at the start of the year we were loving so it. It was exciting. Oh. There was like momentum. Yeah. They won that first game and it's just like, okay, this could be. No matter what happens, they've good. still had a good year because they've improved a lot under Daisy. They've yep. got a better game plan. Yeah. But they just need to, I wrote down here, build their inside uh, 50 efficiency. They missed so many easy goals last well, week. They, they're really inaccurate, they get it in, they? they get it in there enough yeah. and then it comes out too easy or yeah. they miss some goals. So if yeah. they can kick accurately, this game could be close. Yeah. But I don't know. The annoying thing is Geelong, they're really good. They're 12th on the ladder, but they're 5th on, fifth on offense. Mm -hmm. And then 11th on defense, which isn't Once great. Once again, but kick a goal against Carlton. Yeah, I know. If they just, oh, It's so weird. So they're just, they're just so hard to read, Geelong. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's about showing up. Um, I think they've run out of steam West Coast because at the start of the year, we're like, this list is still not where it needs yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the, they had the pixie dust, the daisy dust, just like <laughs> sprinkle, dust. sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah. They had six weeks of great footy and now they're just coming to the end of it. And it's, it's the end of the condensed fixture as well. I think that's yeah. really had an effect on those just, younger spent, players. Like, eight days over here in Melbourne as well. Yeah. So all of that going on. Throwing like even even it sounds silly, but even with the change of daylight savings as well, so that just adds a little bit more when you travel. I get jet lag with daylight savings. Do you? Yeah, it takes me a couple of weeks to get back on top. <laughs> Thank God you're not a footy player <laughs> right? anymore. Yeah, yeah anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, so I think this has come to the end. But whereas next year we see an improvement for West Coast, whereas it's Geelong, it's like oh, everything's finally coming together and clicking. It's probably too late, and this is going to be the oh yeah. If they smash them here, that no, all their fans and they're like sort of uh, players, anyone, their staff will be like, oh, we should have made finals. They year. need like, a miracle to make yeah. finals. Yeah, they won't. They, no, they won't make finals. Yeah. They need to come out and play how they did against Brisbane. Like Craig Sarsovic yep. after the game last week Positive was like, footy. they played with desperation mm -hmm. and Brisbane were just a bit lackluster. They played like a team who expected to win. Yep. So they've just got to come out with that ferocity, you know, and absolutely. I think that's what will absolutely shock West Coast. They'll get on top early and, yeah, they'll wipe the floor with them. Four goals. Ooh. 21 points. 21 points. I'll go 15 points for the Cats. Dreamtime, TO yes. Stadium at Darwin, 8.15 p.m. <laughs> Essendon take on Richmond. Now, this is a massive 
massive thing for AFLW. This is the first Dreamtime game in Darwin. This is the first game in Darwin, I believe, for AFLW as well. Yep, massive occasion. So we're going to give the AFLW a tick here because they've set this up. They've promoted it well. Awesome. They're, they're up there actually promoting this right now. We should see a massive crowd up there because you know what people love in Darwin? Footy. Footy. Absolutely. There'll, hey, be, there'll be a big crowd there. Yeah. Especially these two teams are loved up there because the uh, the men's teams have played up there and they've got some big crowds. Yeah. So, yeah. And Essendon has a bit to do with like Tiwi Islands and players yes. and stuff yep. like that yeah. as well. So it'll be absolutely huge. And yes, we can say well done, AFL, for yeah, we, we will give doing them, this. We will give them props where they need it, to. Cautiously saying <laughs> well done. <laughs> we, we will give the AFL props when they've done the correct thing, yep. but we will also whack them when they need to, which yes. unfortunately right now it's like six to one. Because we are not an AFL based show. <laughs> so yes. I, I do want to bring this up because it does have to do with a Richmond player. So Hosking came out during the week or was, it was, might have been late last week and said, no, I loved the condensed fixture and playing footy. Now, come on. We know that you're on an AFL sponsored podcast and there's potentially some money going through there, but you don't need to say the company line. Like we know. <laughs> we don't know a hundred percent. We don't being know honest 100%. or not. If she's being she's honest a, or not, but it just she's seems... She's an absolute go-getter, yes, number yeah, one. Yes. Um, so maybe she might just be like also, loving playing footy Their podcast day. is very fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like ours, but better. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. Um, That's not true. Don't go to watch that podcast. <laughs> I don't know if she would... I don't know if she's got that in her to toe the company line to that. But where if the where if the when because she has she has been critical on other topics yeah. of the AFL. So but when it's something like this, when the when enough. the boss and Laura Kane have come, like, no, no, we it's cool. I don't reckon the boss or Laura Kane have listened to one oh, no. minute of e- any e- podcast. Please, Emma on Moore AFL was w. on tagged at the start of the season. And do you reckon she even listened to that episode? No, no, wouldn't be in the Spotify. <laughs> wouldn't be in the Spotify. Guy. Not in the. Uh, but it did feel not going to be on a Spotify most listened. Yeah, it list. did. It did feel forced that the two the two people on the AFL podcast came out like, no, nah, no, nah, we love this condensed fixture. Yeah, but on the other on the W show, they've been yeah. like critical of yeah. the condensed fixture and everything yeah. like that. I, and, I see what you're saying. Absolutely, yeah, because we've had like we all know players and yeah. we've talked to them off off the record. Yes, and they're like. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. We're tired. They can never do this again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I don't think Sarah Rowe or Hosking's uh, integrity would let them uh, yeah. toe the, oh, toe okay. the line yeah, that right. far. Good call. I'll, I'll go there. Mm, it did awesome. look, hey. Integrity. It's, it's, I said it, it. Was, it was the smithers with the gun. It's like, just wait. Everything's <laughs> fine. Just wait. Be happy. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope she plays on Saturday night, though, because she went off injured the other day, and let's oh, hope yeah. that her and Katie, Katie Brennan, Brennan are apparent, right. So I just read a thing. KB's back in. Not 100%, yeah. but they're trying to give her every chance to play, and the ankle injury wasn't as bad as they first thought, so they're hoping she'll play, but there's no... Sit her in the goal square. Strap it up. Essendon's defense up, isn't yeah. great. Just yeah. sit her in the goal square. So it's still fine. take marks. She'll yeah. still be able to kick Put her in a moon boot. Do whatever you got to <laughs> <A> do. <moon. laughs> KB on the field. Yes. One out in the goal square, KB. Yeah. And they'll all Please want to play with for this big dream time Massively. game as well. So it's I so think important. Especially, it's a big game for Richmond just to surge into the finals. So, yeah, yeah. I think she'll play. Uh, Ellie McKenzie kicked one of the goals of the week last year. Has last week. Last week. Last week, last year. And mate, she would have kicked the last yeah. goal last year. Yeah. I'm just thinking of the goal because we watched <laughs> it and we had a great time watching it. Three bounces. Yeah. Three bounces. She's been the triple threat lately. Disposals, yeah. goals, clearances. That's what, that's what you need from a midfielder at the moment. Yeah. It's awesome. Having watched Richmond closely a few times this year, after mm. you just went on your hater aid on them, hater aid, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well done. What flavors hater aid? <laughs> Hate. Yeah, it's like grape. It's red and black. <laughs> yes, like Essendon. Uh, so yeah, I've been really enjoying. I've actually really enjoyed Richmond. Obviously, last week, yeah, didn't go their way for a multitude of reasons. But they're playing good footy, and then you have a look at Essendon, and it's like their best beating Melbourne by thirty thousand points. Really good. Western Bulldogs game, like their best and their worst, yeah. is is there. And the problem is they sh- they've played probably what one good game all season, yeah. And they're more likely to play average than they are good. Correct. Like a lot of their players, it still feel it was weird. It's rely on their stars. It's too their much. tenth game, but it feels like some of them are still working into the season. Yeah, and it's like, what are you doing? It's, yeah, it's we're too at this late. Stage, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been, in, but I've been enjoying their work. It's also yeah, there's I saw that we had a fiftieth game. Yeah, maybe don't. Uh, this weekend, I've completely spaced on who's playing their 50th game. I'll find that. I have it written down here somewhere. But also, Matty Gay is going to have a big game coming yeah. out of defense. Oh, every game. If KB's, yeah. if KB's got an Matty injury. Gay. Yeah. 
Let's talk about Maddie Gay. That's usually one of our topics because she's she's been awesome. All Australian contention this yeah. year for sure. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. BNF, like we said, possibly over Press Barkers. I I think. Yeah, I think she's just. been. Yeah, well, when you're a player like Press Barkers, mm. you're you're a bar you're then gets set get up here. So if you're yeah. gonna, you know, Daria whereas, Bannister. Yeah. Her fiftieth game. Oh, Great. her fiftieth. Okay, yeah. nice. Great. After, after well, former like, North player, yeah, as well. three clubs and yeah. knee injury, getting yeah. to fifty games. Well done. That's well, awesome. We yeah. like that. We like well that. Yeah. Kick a few, it's a, sto- kick a, few it's a story of grit and determination. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent to come out and like after a big injury as well, yeah. and playing across three clubs, yeah. you you forget uh, what it does to a player going into new yeah. clubs and coming out of clubs. Every time. Well. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like a um, if I can go back to the Ellie McKenzie, go for it. Goal oh, just momentarily. One of the things I love about a big run on to a goal is watching the opposition player run out of steam. Yeah, like that. chasing. It's like... one of my most <laughs> favourite things because you see, you know, on The Simpsons where you, um, Ralph and Lisa like kind of start dating yes, yeah. and yeah, she yeah. dumps him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see where he's You can see where he's heart <laughs> beats right That's great. there. And then you can see them run out of steam. You're like, oh, you're cooked, mate. You can just pause, pause the uh, – <laughs> Bang. That's awesome. Yeah, it's one of my faves. One great, of my faves. Great little reference. Yeah. Like that. The Bombers, I think Brian mentioned them before, wor- worry too much about the opposition. If they play their free-flowing footy, yep. Bonnie Too Good can just run through people, kick some goals – I need more from Bonnie. No, I they more. didn't get it down there. No, they got no, 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 but in general. They one inside I, 50 in the first half. Yes, but I still need more from her though. Like, nah. I, I think, I know she's had, what is it, four ga- three games back? Four three. games back? Three, three, I think, yeah. Three. So you've had three games back. She could have a good game here. I all agree. the rush should be off. Yeah. I want grabs. Even if there's not a couple of goals, but I want marks up the ground. I want you setting up I don't play. get it I want, down to I want her. Yeah. I want her up the ground. It was the problem I had in round one before yeah. she yeah. got injured. was like, why is she deep in the goal square? Yeah. Get her up the ground. It worked last year. Well, maybe they'll do it this week. I think they will. They, they got to. They got to play the opposite to last week. Yeah. Bit more attacking, positive. Yeah. Richmond aren't as good as North, so you can go. All right, we can play a bit more attacking. But again, I don't know if they have enough strong I players just don't to understand contend why with. Why they played like that last week? Oh. After there was so much criticism. I know. Of they played exactly. The like, they like, didn't have a forward what line. Are you oh. doing? <laughs> it maybe it was there. Essendon who sucked all along, <laughs> and not the dogs. <laughs> no, I don't you know about get that. Get their name out your Yeah. Anyway, do I didn't have the goal kicking power to keep up? No, no, unfortunately not. But secondly, the the uh, humidity will help. Yeah, them. how how will the players cope with this heat and humidity? Because it's going to be like thirty six degrees. I think it will thirty six and eighty percent is yeah. it? Oh. yeah, maximum thirty six. It could be thirty Mate. by the time they play. That is brutal. Uh, that means I think it will be pretty low scoring. Yeah, like a bit a bit slippery as well. Yeah. Or, or we see like we saw Gold Coast and Geelong in the men's, where it was one hundred and sixty four to one hundred. Well, they might have to. Yeah, that's no, so. They, so take, that was, that's scale, not going to happen. Take into scaling seventy to fifty. Mm. That is not happening. I don't think in these conditions. No way. I mean, we saw it. I'm. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> God, uh, who, who, who who the men's up, up above the uh, what the is it? 20th parallel. Twenty eighth parallel. Uh, just that's a different breed. That's a, that's an out. Yeah, I'm going to say Richmond by twenty four. Yeah. Oh, three, three goals. I'll say yeah, three goals as well for the Tigers. Let's go to Ballarat on Sunday afternoon as the Western Bulldogs play Euro Rock. Yep, I think it's a silent, silent uh, why there. I'm going with that. Yeah, Euro it is. Rook. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. That's what I've heard them say. That's is the St Kilda Saints. Uh, this game might not be one for the highlights reel. I'm oh, sorry to say. I don't know. The dogs had a lot of highlights last week. The dogs are up and about. They had, they kicked one of their highest scores ever last week. Belted Carlton off the ground. Our our good mate Griggy. Who we haven't Griggy, met. Friend of the pod. Is, is a friend it's of the pod. corrected to Greg. That's yeah. not right. <laughs> who's one, who is our good mate who we've just been a fan of since the start oh, of the yeah. season? Got the rising star nom and just throws herself in with reckless abandon. And I am scared every time she does it. Yeah, 100%. This is going to be fun from the Western Bulldogs side of views because it's like, hey, we got nothing to lose. Mm. This is great. Yeah. And Saints are like, oh, we've screwed the pooch here. Mm. Well, they can still, if they get a big win here, that, like, sorry, just a win. They're obviously back in finals contention. If so, they if yeah. they win, Essendon lose, and the D's lose, they will be into the eight. Mm. Like so, they they're they're at the stage where they need to win and hope results go their way. Oh God! Yeah, it's going to be a lot of uh, confusing results in no, the last just round. Go, it's yeah. going to be close. I, I, it's yeah. be fun. I think if you just go to AFL Live Ladder, I reckon there's a thing that just has that, and it uh, gives you everything that you need all the way through. Oh wow! Yeah, That's and so good. so what happened in the last round in the men's with Carlton losing and. And then when Fremantle had to win to get in, it had all the percentages going. It so could it's be like, like that. Actually, it's going to be like that for the sixth to tenth sort of yeah, spots yeah, in the totally. uh, FIW, which is going to be fun. Well, is if Freo somehow screw the pooch against um, <laughs> GWS, like yeah, Saints, yeah, yeah, and same with Richmond as well, yeah. and with Essendon winning, it's just like ah, oh, it's great. 
It'll be fun. Uh, anyway, back to this game. Uh, so St Kilda kind of hitting the wall, or did we? Did we? <laughs> I think we got too excited. We got excited yeah, the first wins. two weeks. Like, oh, my God, they're the best offensive well, team ever. Because, and then they haven't kicked they a goal beat, since. It's because they beat two finalists. Mm. Yeah. And they came out like, yeah, we're like, oh, yeah, they're oh, good. It shows really. how different the year has been compared to last well, year. Well, they beat yeah. St. Kilda and, uh, they, sorry, they beat Gold Coast and the Swans in the first yeah. year round. Yeah, and they were both finalists and now they're not Doesn't good. look good now. Yeah. And they also haven't had a player have 20 plus touches the last two weeks. Which Ooh. is brutal. Like you should, every team usually has, I'd say, two or three players above that 20 getting clearances and things yeah. like that. Their midfield just isn't getting enough of the ball. Mm -hmm. Like we got Tiana, Tiana Smith had, I think, 22, three weeks ago. And then they're, they're sort of sharing that around. But they need enough, they just need a player that's going to bank you 25 like Pritchard, yeah. Pritchard does for the dogs, which yeah. I'm a bit worried about their midfield. You know? Yeah. I mean, I've picked St. Kilda. Mm. But I'm also Same. really worried that they're not going to win. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like especially after the how the doggies played mm. um, last last week, and like that. St Kilda just haven't like if you like when you said there's St Kilda of... is in contention for finals, I was like, I don't want what? them to be. Yeah, yeah. How? Yeah, they have not. They have not shown that they're a finals contender. I, I'm this now back to where I think of St Kilda just as a football club in general. <laughs> I'm just like, ah. Just, yeah, yeah, you hate them. Oh, yeah. I don't hate them. There is just nothing exciting about yeah, them. It's oh, well, they're excited. So, Tiana Smith, Tiana excited. Smith is excited. Well, but it's like you look, you look at that. But whereas, it, like the same with the men's, there's like three dudes who are like, yeah, I'll watch them, and the yeah. rest are just like, just <laughs> middling. Yeah, Fair and enough. they're not showing enough. And it's like all of a sudden they unlock it and play great. If we're like, ah, they yeah. should be doing ah, that. Yeah. Where have you been? Where have you been? Yeah, true. They do it like once every six weeks, and that's yeah. and, and that's just a St. Kilda problem. That's not right. enough, is it? So the Saints, they've got a point to prove because they can still make finals, or do the dogs back it up and Tam Hyatt just gone, just played rope a dope with oh, all I, you jerks? I chopped and chained because I really yeah. want the dogs to play, get that like 50, 60 plus points again because mm. they're a lot more fun to watch. But I just don't think they have two good weeks in a row in them. So I'm going the I'm going the Saints by uh I'll go say two goals. Two goals. Just because I think they've just got a little bit more depth. If the dogs play their free-flowing football, they will win this game. The double hyphenator, Christy Lee, Western Turner. Oh, yeah. Is she? Have we had a an update on the on the ankle? Oh yeah. Uh, Surely she just plays out of knowing, like not being embarrassed. Because yeah. You don't want yeah, right. to be out the next week going ankle injury from a yeah. from a celebration. Yeah. 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 Now nah, Western Turner, a couple of goals, and the dogs win this by a kick. I really hope they do. I'm regretting my St. Kilda tip, but I will stick by my word because that is who I am. And I'm going to say St. Kilda by 24. You're a Ooh. lord of integrity. <sighs> <laughs> Victoria Park, Sunday. This is like traditional old school footy rivalry. This. It is. It is. Vic Park at 3 o'clock on a Sunday. It's Collingwood <laughs> take on Carlton. Both teams really need a win. Mm. Both teams aren't going great. Bring some grass seeds. Uh, yeah, yes. bring, bring like a patch of grass. Uh, Sand. Maybe circle off this little area so no one does their ankle because someone's totally going to get tackled and probably concuss themselves in it. No, nah, they would have fixed it by now. They would have had a whole week to sort it out. It'd be fine. I go past it on the train every morning. I should look over. Like, Is the hole still there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. not feeling great about this game. No, no uh, it's not. Uh, it's going to be a scrappy game. It's going to, yeah, mm. scrap city. We can we can sort of fly through this one if we really want. <laughs> no, no, because it's, it's Carlton Collingwood. But the team's aren't about. going well. It's like, oh yeah, Lucy, no, we, we, we we try to respect every team. We do respect. Yeah, every but we team. do respect. But there's games you talk about <laughs> for six minutes, and there's games you can talk about for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, true. And true. This, talking on that, they're the two worst defenses in the league. So. The, we're either seeing a scrappy game because their offense is. We're not seeing goals. Great. We're not seeing goals. But they're the two worst defenses. Can we see some goals possibly? No, because have, have a look. Because have a look at how many points they've scored this year. Collingwood are the only team not to have scored more than two hundred points. The next worst team for scoring is Carlton. Oh, God. okay. So the they've two got worst four, defense and two worst. They've offenses. got four hundred points between them scored this year. Mm. Ah, and they've allowed in about <laughs> nine hundred. Like they're not going great. I got one. I got a positive. If we want to yeah, bring go. up a positive, hit it. Lauren Butler. So Sam Wright, the coach, uh, three weeks ago when she came back in the side, swung her forward. She's always been a back. Yeah. She kicked two goals last three games. If she can get hit the scoreboard, maybe two goals. Yeah. Then Collingwood could kick a decent score because their pressure, as we've seen mainly in the first half of a lot of games, hasn't been too bad. They always bring that that yeah. pressure. That sort of I think you said it yeah. uh, during the week, Bryony. That yeah, that pressure, that Collingwood sort of style. But then Carlton, I just think have. A, a bit more depth than the than the Pies Hill. Yeah, I, I Austin, tend to yeah. agree there. Yeah, Cronin v Austin should be a fun matchup. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's she, a few she's fun been good for Collingwood yeah, this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then you've got Benici, 
Abby Mackay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got Ruby. There we Kiyo go. Shirai. There's some mm-hmm. fun matches. Like, good midfield. Yeah. The mo- and Ruby's in the midfield. Very happy to see. Yeah. Yeah. You've, yeah. We've been calling for it. And if she can, you know, Benici down, Sarah Roth floating through, like there's yeah. something there, but it's like they get it past there. It's like, don't know what we're doing. Nobody knows what they're doing inside <laughs> yeah. their 50. No. Yep. For either team. Um, Carlton, I guess. <laughs> sure. Carlton by one. Yeah. I was going to point. I changed my big call. I'm just going to say draw. This is going to be a draw. Can I tip a draw? Sure. In the actual draw. official tips, I'll go Carlton. Right. But I'm going draw as my big call. All right. <laughs> uh, and that's the round. We don't need to talk about the final game. Oh, just because Brisbane are going to smoke Sydney. <laughs> <Dang you. laughs> Let's get to Brighton Hobes Arena. The Brisbane, line, the Brisbane Lions take on my beloved Sydney Swans. Uh, they played two years ago in 2022. Swans didn't win a game. Brisbane won this by 10 goals. Brisbane are in a bit of a flat patch at the moment. They're not going great. Mm. Mm. And the Swans just not going good. They've they've officially broken me this one. Yeah, they're, they're was, really not in, going well. There was they? no true bloods this week. The, <laughs> they oh, really? They were, they were just like, yeah. <laughs> well, don't both, watch both of our teams have scaled off, and yeah, oh, but we knew his team. But I, I called them unbeaten flag rules at the start yeah. of the year, so I'm feeling good about yeah. that. Yeah, true. Um, so Dak Davidson in concussion protocol is out. Yep. That's great for the Swans because their defense hasn't been going any good. The only problem is Smith leading the goal kicking. So. Yes. Well, she was no kept, goals last week. No goals last week. So is you've got week? a job on your hands, Alice Mitchell. Let's <laughs> is, go. Is this the week she fires up again? And she, so she usually gets about two goals. <laughs> yeah. So this week she's going to kick four goals. Uh, yeah, she got what, six in it. Yeah, oh, six, six. 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 This is when Sophie Conway has twenty and kicks three. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Oh yeah. This is Sophie, yeah. this is a Sophie Conway game because. Tanya Kennedy is going to go, hi, Ali Anderson. You're in for a long day, pal. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is Tanya Kennedy going to- Straight to Ali Anderson. I saw Anderson. an article that said she would will go to Dawes, Bella Dawes, but I think Ali Anderson's, Ali Anderson's a bit more dangerous. I'd, yeah, I'd go to Anderson. Mm. Mm. Stop her getting the footy because she's the outlet for Dawes. <sighs> this is not great. But uh, Brisbane, so this is the other thing. Brisbane yeah. lost last week, so they'll be fired up. Like I said, Smith will be fired up. But they've had really close games three of the last four. Mm. One of them was Even, a Q clash. Yeah, one of, yeah, but that's my point. It was again- it's Gold Coast, who haven't mm. been very Q good. Clash. Q Clash, possibly they fire up. I don't, just because you say Q Clash doesn't yeah, mean but, it just. But right, <laughs> right, 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 rivalry games though, like when yeah. it's a derby, a derby, yeah. you know, one of those ones that weird results happen. Yeah. yeah. Do they fire up? Uh, that was one of the questions. I don't know if they're firing up. I think they're in that, you know, we saw teams towards the back end of the men's season have that little dip yeah. and then they'd work back into it. Like Adelaide like, did a couple yeah, for because, the, in the uh, women's, yeah. Yeah, because the, they're going to. They're going to win. They're going to win this game. Yep. They'll finish top two or top four, so they got the double chance. It's, it's all about getting the double chance, making yep. sure you make get at least one home final. Yep. And it's just like, just get the job done. It doesn't matter how you get it done. We've seen their best footy. Mm-hmm. It's great. I don't think it's the best in the competition, but it's enough to beat a Sydney Swans team who Laura Gardner might be back, which is massive for the Swans. Yeah, that'd be good. Please. Is she a test? Yeah, a yeah. test. But. If she just wasn't, bring her in. if she wasn't right to go, <laughs> because there's, there's two games left. If, she was, if she wasn't right to go, they wouldn't be playing it. But the thing yeah. is, you've had Sophia Hurley; she's been playing awesome. Ella yep. Heads has been great. Please move her back to to the halfback flank, dear God. Uh, little Holly Cooper in there is playing well as well. And who knows what Montana Ham's going to do because she could play deep forward, take a couple of grabs. Yeah, or yeah. I just throw her in the midfield. Just mm. be like, you know what? Why not? You can yeah. follow doors around all day. Learn how to play. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Bang, learn how to learn well, how to No, play. but it's like <laughs> I know, I get it. No, I that's a good it. that's a good call. Yeah. She's, 19, more experience. she's 19, 20 years old. Yeah. On the right. One of the best players in the comp around. Like, right. Oh yeah. Because who was it? Um it was a I think it was a Hawthorne or a Richmond defender that Buddy Franklin kicked like nine on one day. Yeah. Oh no, Sam Taylor from GWS. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Buddy had a field day against him. Yeah. But during and he the, learnt a lot. Yeah. During the game, Buddy was giving him tips on how to improve. And yeah. Wait, was like, he? Yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah. he's like, your positioning was good there, but you did this and that like so, like, stuff like that, whereas when you're playing on someone good, by osmosis, you're going to learn. Okay. Yeah. I like it. So, that's my theory on that. Anyway. I love how we've talked about osmosis. I know. Wow. Yeah. We, no, the, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, big question of this is, will the Swans start strong and fade in the second half again? Which is weird. I think it's like they play. I've done that last They played well in the first it? quarter. First quarter, yeah. Do nothing and then do something. Okay. I think it'll be similar because- They've got enough there that it's not kicking enough points to get on the board. Wow, it's not kicking straight. Brisbane will finish strong, especially Lexi, yeah. at home. At Brian Lexi Hazard. Hamilton, please, just straight. Mm. Please kick straight. I'm, yeah. I'm begging you. <laughs> uh, Brisbane by four goals. I reckon the Swans keep this scrappy and competitive. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, just the way the lines are going at the moment too, looking at their last month, and this is like the Swans going, well, when they get their run and carry going, they actually look okay. Okay. Mm. 
And they just, they'll take, oh, just take risks. Who can, We know what you're going to lose. Just take risks. Yep. Brisbane by 50 points. That's it. I was going to say, I was going to say, I'll say, Brew. same as last meeting, 55. I'm just going to high. Ooh. Why not? Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm expecting a loss. Like, I'm actually going to a mate's, uh, he's having a housewarming su- Sunday afternoon. I'm going to that. Instead. What's the address? <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in Hawthorne. I don't know yet. <laughs> Hot ball. Uh, big call <laughs> for the weekend ahead. Stats man. Oh, I already said it before, but I'm calling a draw. I, I, I feel like that's a big call. There's not many draws. So, mm-hmm. Carlton Collingwood, I feel like there's not, a, this is going to sound bad, not enough match winners in the in those. Like, Keely Sharar kicked a really cool match winner. But other than that, I'm not sure there's going to be a match winner. So, it's going to be a draw. They're going to be stuck in the last quarter. It's going to be scrappy. Weirdly exciting game. Yeah. Low scoring, but scrappy and a draw. So I think there's going to be a draw this week. Great. Yep. I've got North totally exposing Adelaide. Oh, that's them. a big call. Yeah. Though. Adelaide is very experienced. I know. They're very, they're amazing, North aren't being they? Great. Yeah, but yeah. Wee, 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 <laughs> there's some sort of like <laughs> mental thing go. going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is. I don't know how else to explain it. A full moon. Oh, oh. It's not a full moon. in the thing in the... Yeah. Uh, is, Mer- is Mercury in retrograde? No, there's no Mercury. Okay. okay. There's no there's no Mercury in <laughs> the it. microwave or the Gatorade or whatever it Haterade, is. Haterade, yeah. Haterade. Yeah. Love uh, a Haterade. Not a sponsor. Yeah. Hey, Gator- Gatorade, <laughs> come on board. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to start training for a marathon. I need, I need electrolytes. <laughs> in case anybody didn't know, Alex is training yeah, for a marathon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I, wait, was that a... About to start training for a marathon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, yeah, not yet. Around the, the corner. The official block hasn't started. <laughs> What's your big call? Ad- oh, dogs two in a row, but I could have said Adelaide, but you went with the North Adelaide game. I'll go dogs two in a row. That's Yeah, that's a big call. Dogs two on the trot. Yeah. I've tipped right. the dogs I would like to see that. So would I. So keep an eye on humidity levels and frizzy hair levels up yep. in Cairns and Darwin because going to be a lot going on. How much pickle juice is consumed? Yeah. Uh, bets on... Who- what quarter is the first cramping issue? Yeah. I'm going to go third. I reckon there's going to be like a lot of headbands as well. Yeah. I reckon there's sweatbands. They're like yeah. the, the, the Aaron Norton, the, like the tennis headband. Yeah, yeah that one. was a good so one. So who yeah. do we reckon, will, who's most likely to rock a sweatband uh, for Hawthorne and who's most likely to rock it for Richmond and Essendon? Well, that's a, that's, yeah. a, that's a big one. Like who's got the vibe of being a, 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 being a sweatband person? I reckon um, uh, who Fleming? do we love? Uh, yeah, who do uh, Breed? Breed. Breed. Oh, oh Breed, yeah. yeah. I, really like I Breed. feel like she's younger. She She'll might. be like, I'm going to sweatband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah possibly. Con- Conti in the long sleeves. <laughs> just just sure. go like this. Yeah. Surely she's going to be in the short sleeves. Yeah. yeah. She can't be Actually, that'll be watch. If if Mon Conti's in the long sleeves again. Can we bet on that? Yeah. I mean, Jenna <laughs> no. Houghton was wearing them in Perth when it was 30 degrees. No, but then she changed into the short sure. Yeah, she it changed like, into the short Guys, sleeve. I know it's white. This is, this is ridiculous. She's like, oh, I'm cooked. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, the, but yeah, is, is do they have the ice room there like they did for the men for them yeah, to go sit in at half time? Hopefully they do. Ice you know, Yeah. Yeah. What else are we keeping on? Dogs going two in a row. Uh, How can, many Taylor Smith's going to kick against the Swans? Yeah. Possibly not keep six, but I reckon she could keep kick an eye. I reckon she could kick six. Six. Oh, that's, she they're doing she big had a goal everywhere. this week last week. She's yeah. been in the lead all season. She needs to defend that leaderboard. Okay. Let's six. try six, babe. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and right. Soph Conway getting three votes against the Swans. Yeah. I'm okay. calling that early. That's my okay, that, nice. that could be my big call as well. Anyway, that'll do AFLW today. Well, for today. Uh, in news, I am here all of next week. I got the email through that the media agency has just cancelled our promo shoot oh, up on the Gold Coast that, next week. You're sort of happy about oh, that. That's aren't you? good. I mean, I don't have to go to the Gold Coast leading up to Victoria Derby week, which so is So you're on the busy. show. So I'm on the show. Yeah. All we're on the show. Week. We're yes. giving Alex everybody. Oh, Woo. damn it. I was hoping that you were gone. Yeah, well, I was, gonna I was looking forward. I was meant to go to the Gold Coast and Fraser Island mm. like for oh, three days. Yeah. Fraser Island. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I want to go there. What's that called? Is that Gari uh, now? Kagari. No, not K. Ka- it's just Gari. But there's a K in there. I understand. It's <laughs> silent. Oh, silent. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's Gari. Okay. Well, thank God I didn't. Thank God I got cancelled. I would have butchered that. <laughs> uh, thanks to Bridie for jumping on and correcting my grammar. Thank you. And thank you to the stats guy thank in you. his grey shirt, but also for doing the thanks. run sheet as per usual. <laughs> Cheers. Remember to smash a like across the social, see us doing a bunch of fun stuff and filling in your footy gaps throughout the year. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, X, of course, YouTube. Make sure you hit the notifications bell, subscribe to that. So anytime we drop a video, it's coming your way. We're into the final rounds of footy. Finals are nearly here. Which yes. Means we are nearly at the furthest point from when we have our next game of footy, which is kind of worrying. So November 30 when it's grand final day yeah. and it ends, yeah. that is the longest time till the next game of footy. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. going to say, yeah. yeah. It's like we all Obviously. go. Yeah. And I don't I like, like it. <laughs> I, don't I don't like it either. I don't like it. 
Uh, also, quickly, they mentioned uh, the Indigenous All Stars against Fremantle in the men's next year. That's Ooh, pretty sick. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, that's good. In February, that'd be, that'd be good. And right. apparently, like Shay Bolton's like, nah, man, I'm gonna play for the All Stars, not Freo, for my first game. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty cool. No, that, that'd be sick. Good. So anyway, uh, mate, we'll be doing something about that on AFL today. I'm sure about that. Yes. So make sure you get around the AFL today for the men's stuff. One show left in the year. You dudes are doing a draft show, I believe. Yes, I'm. Uh, football today. EPL is back and up and running. Hopefully, the referees don't make themselves the main oh. characters once again. NBA strike. NBA started yesterday morning, so up and going again. Jim is doing a show every day. That dude is a psycho. NFL Australia <laughs> into about week seven or eight, I think. Yep. And of course, hold all tickets. Cox Plate weekend this weekend. Of course, Cup Week next week. You're hosting Fashions on the Field. I am. Oh, yeah. Come down and say hello if you're there. That'd be cool. um, for my first outfit, I'll be bleaching my eyebrows. So are you, there, <laughs> are, are you there all four days? Just first, uh, four, first three. Oh, that's a big week. Yeah, it is a big that's week. So you'll be in though. here Monday and Wednesday as well. I'll be here Monday and Wednesday, and yeah. then I've got those three days. So hosting fashions and yeah. then also performing on the main stage with my band in the bird cage. So and then the on band the fly is. Friday, I thought I'd fly to Mackay for a gig. And um, that is, that's a busy one. Then week. on the Sunday, I'm playing uh, uh, excellent sports commentators' 50th birthday party. So Oh my God. Woo! You're That's going to be huge. I will be <laughs> deceased. And then on that Monday, sure, I'll come back in and do a show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, you are going to die. I will die. I will Maybe, die. That sounds fun, though. It um, does sound like fun, doesn't it? Uh, maybe Red Bull can sponsor yeah. us next week. But yeah, anyway, uh, get around them like you're going to be getting around coffee and energy drinks next week. Absolutely. Yeah, have good luck. I H2O. Thought, I thought my week, Melbourne Cup week, was bad. Yeah, oh, oh boy. It's cooked. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you on Monday for more AFLW today. <laughs> I think we've got some player interviews lined up next week. But anyway, till then, look after yourselves. And remember, 40's back. It's back. It's back.